The Namibian government operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Even on public holidays, Prime Minister Sarako Kangelo Amadila said on Thursday. Addressing staff of the office of the Prime Minister in the capital, she said civil servants should have arrangements in place to make sure the public is always assisted. Government must be open at all times. Even when we have Christmas Day and we have New Year's Day, we should have arrangements in place to make sure that the public is always assisted. So those of you who have to take leave during these periods must make appropriate arrangements to make sure that there are no disruptions in services when we go on leave. And I also don't want us to just drop everything when we have to go without making sure that we leave the work at a point, you know, where it would be easy to continue and where there would be no disruptions. Because as I said, we are hired full time and we are paid even for the days that we are on leave. And as part of efficiency improvement within the public service, those that would continue with this kind of conduct, whether in the office of the prime minister or elsewhere in the public service, would uh, receive uh, or would experience the consequences. The prime minister added that cabinet has adopted measures to curb the increasing wage bill. This includes control of the expansion of public institutions. Another measure is to control the use of overtime and daily subsistence allowance. When you were on study leave, you were still being paid. You see, so it's a matter of sometimes just really more uh, forcefully um, ensuring compliance of the, of the rules that are there. We did not have to make a lot of adjustments to the rules because the rules are there. It's just a matter of us implementing them properly. And uh, some supervisors have become so acquainted with the people they supervise that when they ask for overtime, they do not have the courage to tell them that, no, you don't need overtime, you should do this work during the office hours. They just say yes. And then the overtime bill just goes up. So it's also a matter of management. And that is why I say that implementation of or realization of this objective would require your support, not only as managers, but also as employees. You should restrain yourself as a public servant. If you know that you were behind because you skipped out of the office to go to town, and now you cannot finish your work before five, then stay until seven and do what you were supposed to do. Don't ask now for overtime because you were not able to finish your work because you were not in the office when you were supposed to be.